Hi everyone. Maui just wants to play and bark and interrupt my recording this morning. So I thought if I held him on my lap with me, maybe he would listen to the story. I hope you have your Steffi or your goldfish bowl or your baby brother or sister in your lap to listen to this story. It's about kids. And it's called If Kids Ran the World by Leo and Diane Dillon. Kids ran the world. If kids ran the world, we would make it a kinder, better place. Maybe we'd run the world in a big tree house and everybody would be welcome. We'd take care of the most important things. We know people are hungry, so all over the world, people would have enough to eat. The food would taste delicious and it would make people healthy and strong. Kids who had extra food would help bring it to people who needed it. Everyone would have a safe place to live. Bad housing would be fixed and new housing wouldn't ruin the land or the sea. No matter how sick people were, they would have the medicine that they needed. If you were lonely in a hospital, kids would come and visit you and let you play with pets. Somebody friendly would help you with a big smile. Everyone would laugh a lot. Kids would have more picnics and games and funny books and movies. People would spend more time playing and less time worrying. No bullying would be allowed. You could climb trees or dress up and dance and sing just for fun. Kids could act very silly. All children would go to good schools where every teacher was nice and had lots of books, music and art. Classes would be exciting and fun. Schools would serve yummy meals and have great sports and big playgrounds. Kids would love school. People could wear any kind of clothes and no one would tease them. Children would all live with people who loved them. More forests would be planted and protected. All the beaches, pools, and parks would belong to everyone. There would be no clubs or places that kept some people out. Friendship, kindness, and generosity would be worth more than money. People would take care of the planet and animals and plants. Nobody would throw trash on the ground or in the ocean or make the air dirty. People would have religious freedom and nobody would punish them or call them names. Everyone would learn the happiness of being thankful. Even if they were busy, people would remember to stop to see the beauty of a sunset or a rainbow. All over the world, people would feel safe with one another. People would live in peace together. No more hate. Everybody would learn how to forgive. If kids ran the world, would these things be possible? Yes, we think so. Because kids know that everyone can learn to share. Kids know how to try to do their very best. And kids know that the most important thing in the world isn't money or being king or queen or pushing other people around. It's love, giving it, sharing it, showing it. And that's why, if kids ran the world, we'd make it a wonderful place for everyone to live. Grown-ups, too.
I'm going to read you this passage, What Kids Are Doing Now. Like our friends in this book all over the world, we are doing things to make our planet a kinder, gentler place. It may not be in the news, but every day we are making a difference. What are kids doing? We volunteer in lots of ways, large and small. Some of us join groups at school or religious organizations, or we volunteer through our communities. We gather food, books, toiletries, and clothing, donating them to shelters or any place that they are needed. If we have games or toys or sports equipment we don't use, we give them to someone who will. Many of us volunteer with our families. It's fun to help build new houses or fix up broken ones so homeless people will have safe places to live. We may sing in a choir and share our songs at hospitals or teach reading and math to kids who need help at school. Bake sales, car washes, garage sales, babysitting and dog walking are great ways to raise money. Or we might enjoy coming up with our own ideas or partnering with friends. A lemonade stand can earn money for people who need help after a tornado, a hurricane, a flood, a fire, or an earthquake. Some of us volunteer at nursing homes, reading to the elderly or handicapped and blind. Sharing books is so important and so is supporting teachers and librarians. At animal shelters, we do chores and try to find homes for orphan pets. We clean up trash at school, on our beaches, in our neighborhoods, and we recycle. We shovel snow, rake leaves, or mow the lawn of a neighbor who can't do it themselves. And growing food and flowers in a community garden can be rewarding and fun. In this book, we also talk about some of the ways we treat people to make them feel good instead of feeling bad. No bullying, being kind and generous, not saying hurtful things about our differences. We let people wear their own style of clothes and follow their own beliefs, and we don't make fun of them. Being friendly and making others feel welcome is good for everyone. We might send a card to a person who is sad or sick or extend our friendship to the new kid at school. In our playground, everybody is included and everybody gets a turn at the slide and the swings. We try to laugh more and complain less. We smile. It's easy to be grateful for what we have and we know how to share. Across the globe, we are making the world a better place. For birthdays and holidays, some of us give donations instead of store-bought gifts. Grandma's Christmas present might be a $5 donation to a homeless shelter or a food bank or a group that saves lives by providing clean water. Hundreds of worthy organizations are easy to find online or at your library. Yes, our planet has many problems. So many that are addressing them may feel overwhelming and impossible, but even the smallest things we do make a difference. As the old saying goes, how do you eat an elephant? And the answer is one bite at a time. I hope you enjoyed that story today and I hope it inspires you to think of something kind that you can do today. And even this week, my family's thinking about what they can do on Easter weekend. And I think we've decided to make some posters and put out some ribbons for the senior citizens in some of the nursing homes that can't see their family this weekend. I'd love to hear about what you're deciding to do. And I know it will be kind because I know you. Have a wonderful day.